All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week we're doing beautiful lamb shoulder steaks cooked with cumin and paprika before being gently braised in white wine and poblano chili peppers. This is a great example of how you could do braising in the summer, not just the winter, and it is incredibly tasty. So come on, guys, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's get a large pan on a nice medium-high heat. Now, I've got the lamb shoulder steaks over here. They are packed with flavor, guys. Absolutely jam-packed with flavor, but they do have to be cooked nice and slow. So that's why we're gonna seal them and then gently braise them. So first up, let's add a good pinch of salt, pepper, some cumin, and some paprika. Now let's add a splash of oil, and using our hands, we just want to massage all of that all over. Let's make sure every bit of the lamb is completely covered. Okay, let's add a little splash of oil into the pan, and we're gonna get the lamb steaks in there. Now I'm gonna cook these for about two or three minutes on each side. We just wanna get a nice bit of color. Of course, golden rule, do not let them burn. So just seal them all over. Whilst they're cooking, we're gonna finely chop up some coriander or cilantro stalks. And we're also gonna roughly chop our poblano chili peppers. Now, most of you around the world, you're not gonna be able to find these poblano chili peppers. So to think about them, they are, they're like green peppers with um, a little bit more perfume. They've got this wonderful perfume to them and they've got a hint more spiciness than the normal you know, green pepper. So if you do wanna make this dish and you can't find them, just use green peppers and maybe chuck a couple of jalapenos in there as well. We're gonna add in the poblano peppers and I'm also gonna slice one red onion. Now let's get those in. We're gonna move them around and let them cook for a few minutes. Add in the coriander stalks. So let's add in six to seven cloves of garlic. We also wanna bolster that spiciness. So let's add in another teaspoon of paprika another teaspoon of cumin, and we also just want to add a pinch of salt. Now, let's give that a good move around. We want to cook that on a more gentle heat for probably about five minutes until everything becomes lovely and aromatic. Right, this is all starting to smell absolutely amazing. So the next ingredient is about two glasses of white wine. Now we want to bring that up to the boil, knock it down to a simmer, and we want that to reduce by about half. Now guys, if you don't want to use white wine, don't worry, just add in extra stock into this instead, okay? And speaking of stock, the whole reason why we're doing this dish is because I made some lamb stock the other day, I've gotta use it, you know? We've gotta use stock within about two or three days of making it. Now, I do know that most of you aren't gonna have lamb stock knocking around in the fridge, um, so if you haven't got that, just use chicken stock instead, okay? Or even water, water will be absolutely fine with this, but you know, lamb stock is just gonna give it more, oh, beautiful flavor. So that's why we're doing this, guys. So I've got about two pints of lamb stock here. Let's pour that over. We wanna bring that up to the boil, knock it down to a simmer, and now we can pour all of that liquid over the lamb. Right, we're gonna cover that in foil, and because I've gotta go and take the kids out for the rest of the afternoon, we're gonna get that in the oven, 225 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's about 110 degrees Celsius, and we're gonna cook that for four hours or until I get back with the kids. Right, here we go, guys. Let's have a look at this. It is smelling absolutely beautiful, and that meat is just falling apart. In fact, it's probably been in a little too long, but don't worry about it, you know. Right, let's fish all of this out and we're just gonna pop that into a separate roasting tray. Now, full disclosure here, guys, I am under a bit of time pressure, so we're gonna whiz through this nice and quick. So what I would normally do, I'd normally get all of that sauce in the fridge let the fat come to the top and solidify and I'd scrape off some of that fat. But we don't have time for that. So what we can do, well, what we do need to do is reduce the sauce by half. Now, if we pour all of this into a frying pan, bring it up to the boil, that is again, 
going to take ages. So the quick shortcut for you here, let's get a frying pan on a kind of medium heat. Now we've got a little bit of oil in there, so let's add in some sprigs of rosemary. And when that becomes aromatic, we're gonna add a few ladles of our braising liquid. Now, we're gonna let that reduce down nice and quickly by about half or just until that flavor becomes really intense and tastes absolutely amazing. And now we can add in our lamb steak. Now let's give that a really good base so we can build up a glaze on the lamb. Right, that looks great. So we're gonna serve that with some blistered green beans and some peas. Right, here we go, guys. Now, before we get into this, of course, the sauce is split. So before you even think about getting in the comments and go, no, 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 your sauce is split. And I know 99% of you will not do that, but there's 1%, uh, right, a bit silly, who will do, um, who'll do that. Anyway, we will do a video of showing what to do when your sauce splits like this. In short, I do not have time to do that now, and I don't have time. To, um, uh, to, to, to basically rectify it. So um, we're gonna do that and we're gonna do a video on these blistered green beans because they are, oh my God, so good. They are mm, so good. Anyway, let's give this a try. Oh man. Mm. Good grief. That is really, really spectacular. Oh, it's sweet. It's packed full of flavor. There's a little bit, you get a little bit of the, um, of the spices, the cumin and the paprika. Not much. That's why I added in, the, uh, added in the rosemary, because what we were getting was much more of the, the, the meaty lamb flavor coming through. So I thought, you know, let's just, let's just add the rosemary in there, because then we're gonna get that. So we just get the kind of cumin and the um, paprika as a back note. But that is, guys, love it. Absolutely love it. And this, this is a really nice way um, to cook uh, shoulder of lamb. Get the shoulder of lamb steaks. That's what we need to do instead of trying to cook the whole, uh, in trying instead of cooking the whole thing. Anyway, give us a thumbs up. Get in the comments. Let me know if you want to see the blistered green beans because that would be a nice quick short video. Um, and then secondly, um, how to salvage your split or two fatty gravies or sauces. Let me know. I'm going to enjoy this. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>